Barberton Esports fans, we got a match here today between Barberton High School and Champion High School. We've got Sleepless, which is Alec Wietrich. We've got Asteria over here that is Preston Hoover, Pineapple King, Hunter Adair, BHS Brendo is Brendan Roberts uh, from Wadsworth. And then Sunwolf is Ryan McInerney. Taste of Rice is Brian Stamich here. Without further ado, let's go. We're going to be starting up on Busan here. Control point, always the first one, that rotating map. With the mecha base here, if I'm not mistaken, on Busan. We've not faced Champion High School before, so we're hoping that uh, they, this opponent will be, you know, a, a good matchup against Barberton. Um, not not too strong, not too weak, just right. Though nothing wrong with going against a strong opponent as long as we can learn something from it. So we'll see how this kind of shakes out here. <coughs> so far, Barberton's record, I believe, is two and one. Only lost so far this season coming out against uh, NC Hoover. They got quick. They have a ball. A ball in the back line. They finished him off. Looks like the team rotates back to uh, handle him a bit, but decides instead to pre put the pressure on forward, it looks like. Looking for some picks. Nice. This The uh, Sunwolf nice. goes against the enemy uh, junk right there. Sunwolf gets another pick. Trade's coming out. They're brawling it out here. Splitting up the enemy team. What are their tanks doing? Really not making much space. They're ignoring the ball here because what is he really accomplishing? And now that they've got this, they can finish off the last couple people after maybe grabbing this uh, cap real quick. Yeah, that like, ball kind of through there. Yeah. Looks like they're just going to finish off the ball if they can. I mean, honestly, though, is it even worth it? Hey, right now you're just feeding a lot. Like, look up our Far up on the enemy team now. But they look like the they're going to clip her wings. Yeah. Wisely holding choke here, saying just don't even just spam through here. Don't let them come in with the junk rat. They could deny this space very well. Tanks pushing up, trying to go for picks as long as they don't pick, get picked here themselves. Healers keeping them topped off though, allowing them to move up, put some pressure on. Huge! Yeah, big old out of the Sigma. VHS Huge. Brenda helping clean up. Look at far. What is she gonna do? Oh, I think she's gonna die over there. I'm not even gonna move the camera yeah. over to watch it. It's such a cramped <laughs> space. Far should yeah. not be in a small space, uh, viewers. They need to be out in the open air. Perhaps uh, Champion needs to take a different line of attack here. Barberton should be throwing in alt pretty much every engagement here because they're building alt economy so quickly. If they don't at least get a little bit of use out of their ultimates, they're not really going to do much here. Alt's getting hard. So Pineapple King goes play. down here, perhaps? Yes. Uh, perhaps did not call the team to come over and engage here. Oh, nice. There's the oh alt we were my. talking about. Oh, my Ramnitz. <laughs> Amazing. The mines come out. Minesweeper Ramnitz deployed Ramnitz. from both tanks here. Clearing it out. And it looks like Ryan McInerney getting lots of really big picks and plays this map. Um, we love to see it out of our DPS here. Far up in the air again, but way ahead of the rest of their team. They're just Why is beating this here. Far up? The rest of the team takes point, like... though, so maybe it was all a distraction tactic, but now they're going to be taking a 6v5. So I don't know if Champion really wanted to go for that kind of that line of distraction. What's that Zen doing? I've got no clue what's going on in that back room. I'm just watching over here. Is there a Zen over there? Yeah. Oh, he's dead he now. Looks like Pineapple can clean him up. Yep. This is, um, you know, I I was kind of interested uh, when I heard the name Champion High School, but I think I've been a little disappointed now. Yeah, it's definitely not the champion of the first round here. Maybe they can come back yeah, on the second maybe. round on this first map and we can see what happens. Uh, I think it's more so not just the champion is maybe, you know, obviously making a bit of a stagger there, which really hurt them. But also, I would say Barbin had a really clear rollout and uh, yeah. isolated down targets, stayed pretty well together, and really held that choke super well with those tanks going forward, taking space, and then disengaging, letting their healers top them off, kind of alternating between uh, Brendan and Alec there. That uh, Diva on a skyscraper? I didn't, uh, yeah. Incredible. Let's see what their line of attack is on this one. Looks like they're just going down the main. With the ball going a bit forward to scout things out. No Widow play. Nice. Widow is the pick on this map. The box comes out. They're going to have to kind of reposition a little bit now. But as that's going on, forward and pushing in. Widow's shots still keep coming down from on high. Fight comes out. Sleepers gets a pick in the back line. Nice. They've got uh, a ball in the back line playing the play. flanks. Big ball presence. Absolutely. There down on the point. Oh, I, I missed it. It happened so fast. They got the pick so quick down on this point. Thanks to Sunwolf getting the snipes out. 
we were finally getting that widow play in that we've always wanted to have. Uh, I, I think the last time we had it was when Jamont was on the team a few years ago. It's been a while since we've had a widow that can really put up some pressure on the enemy team. So really happy to see this hero pick uh, here. Oh, yep, there goes uh, there goes the Farah. That Farah is playing far too far. This road warrior, road way warrior too player. Far. She's pushing up way too far. Uh. And they're just not adapting to Alex dives back here. He's just going able to Absolutely. swing around and punish. It yep, looks like yep. he's going for I'll picks in the, the back widow. line here. There goes the widow. Well, that's what going on. Play. You know, they're taking these bad fights over what here on the side the of doing? of champion. They're trying to push three into five. I don't think that's going to work out for them. And it doesn't. While it's going on, Alec Wietrich in the background here, just being a general yeah. nuisance, uh, destroying the self-confidence of the uh, other team. So they're trying to do the Widow Duel, but before the Widow Duel even begins, Baller. Alec Wietrich oh, comes man. in and punishes. Final King getting a pick as well. Or perhaps uh, maybe cleaning up the pressure put on by Alec Wietrich there. I didn't see who, uh, who actually got the last hit there. I know they both put some pressure on. Ult coming out, they're using their ults because why wouldn't they? Once again, uh, Barberton needs to put this pressure out because they have great ult economy. They, they're going to rebuild their ults before the next fight begins. Uh, it's unlike this they're going to toss them all out there. It's all isolated. Did they even know? I don't know what this other team's doing about Alec Wietrich in the back line. I mean, the answer is just nothing. Man, I mean, he is just bawling right now. S get on him. Sigma goes in deep here, but does get picked. Uh, I think the team was just like, look, can we just walk up to their spawn and just bully them? Uh, and the answer is kind of right now. I mean, there's not a lot that they can do. Yeah. The mines go uh, out, but, you know, what, what are they really going to... Oh, walks into the mine and dies. Mercy uh, almost suicides into the mine over there. We see there is a fight happening on point. I, I shouldn't de neglect that. Looks like Barbin's been forced back a little bit here, letting the enemy team cap, but now they're moving in. Uh, was that a high noon coming off McInerney there? It looks like it was, but nothing ended up coming out of that. Off, Lamp goes off, down, off, but oh, the there. charge comes out. Some there big go, plays coming out from Champion. Maybe they're just going to swing this back a little bit against Barberton. Hard to say. Oh, Alec Wietrich getting some punishing in here. Sunwolf laying down with the snipes from on high. Can they get a priority target there like this? Mercy. Looks like Wietrich trying to get the, the kill there. So low, so low. Oh, Asteria down. This Mercy oh. is just living. Our own Mercy comes in, taste of rice. Give him a taste of life right here. Yeah. <laughs> here it comes out. Looks like we're doing pretty snazzy cleanup here from Barberton. Yep. Stops Scared the out. Sigma ult mid-fire. No bacon for this Torbjorn. He's going down. Yeah, and that looks like Barberton's first map. Nice, quick, clean. Absolutely. We saw some really nice hero picks here. I think the hero Very picks ball play. were... Yeah, absolutely. I think the hero picks, though, were really, really well suited um, for the maps. I think that they had done a lot of research to see what heroes go for what phase on Busan, and they picked heroes that they knew could dominate in this space. And then, I, you know, I don't want to be rude to champion, but they really did not put any pressure on Alec Wietrich. They did not peel for their back line. They just said, you know, if you're back there, you got to deal with the hamster. And in this case, that just meant death for them. Why don't we move on to the uh, next map and see if Champion can put up a bit more of a fight here on our next map, which I believe is going to be King's Row. I mean, I can't think of any time a team has picked anything other than King's Row for the second round. Uh, it's just actually, such uh, a fan favorite. Actually, today, uh, JV picked, uh, uh, their, their opponents picked uh, Numbani. What a strange and crazy place JV is sometimes. Yeah. That is a wild world. All right, coming in here on King's Row, everybody. We got Caden Fincher in here for Brendan Robo. And it looks like we have uh, Taster Rice is... Oh, no, sorry. Uh, Preston is out for Yi here, which is Mikey Brown. So we've got a couple substitutes here. Fincher in on Insane Caden. Uh, so yeah. we've got them on tank a lot more lately as they've kind of been expanding the repertoire, allowing us to flex Brendan back to his main original healer roots. Though we're not seeing him on that role right here in this moment. Brendan, that is. Obviously, we're seeing Fincher on the monkey. Technically an ape, but uh, speaking of uh, apes, is it going to be apes strong together out of champion this round, or are they going to crumble like monkeys in a barrel? Let's find out. Really interested in seeing how Barberton does on this. What what heroes they've got. Looks like Taste of Rice is a little late to the battle here, but oh, it looks like the uh, the Kree is going to allow them to hover out. I think there might have been some, some small tech issue there. 
Brawling it out here. Nice purple coming out. Sleeps gets a swing down. And as these moves from Pineapple King come out as well, they're able to put the pressure on, splitting their team. Uh, not their team, but Champion's team, rather. Looks like they kind of both went in different directions. Some going left, some going right. Because of that, not a lot could really, uh, not a lot happen for, for Champion other than, looks like, oh, maybe Alec Weitra going to get a bit punished here for being up forward. The rest of the team not following up here. I don't know if that call wasn't heard or just maybe they decided to stay a bit further back. This might be Champion's time to move forward and take the engagement. Pressure coming out, pressure coming out. Will Barbin crack under this pressure. Big purple out here. St. Caden gets a pick. It looks like Barbin's stabilizing here. I think Champion just doesn't know when to apply the pressure. They had an opportunity there, but it is swiftly falling apart. Nice hold from the supports and the uh, DPS that remained as the tanks get back into position. I think uh, Insane Caden also was on that hold. I think we, who did we lose? It was uh, Pineapple King and Sleepless, maybe? Uh, I cannot see. I am currently out of sync. Could you give me the, uh, the timestamp, please? Sure, we're sitting at right about 2.35 right now. I see. I'm 15 seconds behind. Uh, 2.15 on the uh, on the main. Holding at the choke here. Hammer comes down using nice ults here. A little too many ults out of Barbadon. I believe they actually just spammed all of their ults at once. Uh, a little bit of miscommunication there from Barbadon. Uh, we know that we want to have our players using ults here. However, the mistake is is that we still only want to use like one or two per fight in this moment. Totally. Um, however, I know at least one of those ults was meant to save Alec Wietrich there. Uh, the uh, the Anas oh. came out. Unfortunately, he did not connect the right target, but because of the added pressure of all those ultimates, uh, everyone from Barbadon survived. Shatter, maybe? No shatter out at the moment. We're sitting at about 145 now as the Monkey and the Rhine come out here. Putting pressure up. We're waiting to see if the shatter's coming out from the enemy team. It's got to come down some point. There it is. Comes down, lays into taste to rice. Alec Wietrich falls next. Ooh, is Barbara going to break here, or can they continue to hold? Nice flash coming out from Hunter Adair. Nice. Huge. Hi, dude. Oh, yes. Well, we got this. Um, oh. No, 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 no. no. Okay, we do have the uh, monkey and the... Uh, it's 8 1 p.m. And the uh, Ana. Huge moves out there coming out from uh, the supports with the monkey here, keeping them up and alive, coordinating those ults together to pressure the enemy team off of this uh, point here. Dragon comes out, but really connects to no and Taster Rice, wisely staying in the corner, letting uh, this support top him off and avoiding that scary dragon. Diva, desperation move in, but honestly, they have a minute left on the clock. Why are they yeah. soloing? Like, oh, they the, got the bomb. Uh, but it looks like the cage of the monkey is going to hold that in just fine. Despite all of his rage, he's still just a uh, diva bomb in the cage. Yes, you're correct. Nice shatter coming out from Alec Wietrich. Can they punish here? Not a lot of pressure coming out from Barberton. Uh, in this moment here, with the ult coming out. Oh, counter ult. Purple comes down. That Ryan's in deep. Can they punish him? Get we the, get the res off on our own, Reinhardt. That's a Ritzy res. Pays off, though, using the car for cover. Yeah. And it looks like, whoa, big purple coming out here. And it's just getting cleaned up. Ult coming out from Sunwolf. Uh, Diva, we're a little split right here, but that's all right. They got the cleanup. I think they're going to pick this Moira, and then that should be it. I really don't think Champion's going to get another push on this. And so not even putting one tick up on the board here. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, nice. Pineapple King, yeah. King, hold, Pineapple King holds him back. Says, now hey, you know known. what? It, you know what time it is. It's time for the next round. I'm going to give a quick yep. pause here to allow uh, Ethan to I am, sync back I am up. caught up. You're caught I up with me? All right. That's fine. I just wanted to make sure we were resynced for our cast I'm here. I'm at 453, I believe. Yes, 455 now. Let's see if uh, Barberton can at least get one tick on this. That's all they need. I think that they will be able to accomplish this without too much difficulty unless Champion has a, a big change of strats here. Now, at this point, Barberton's momentum is really getting going. I can see that they've, yeah. they they feel a lot more unified. Um, we still see a little bit, uh, without Brendan making our main calls here, we see a little bit of discrepancies every now and then. Some of our heroes will press forward and either um, it'll be one or like two or three heroes forward or the rest back where either... The call's being made and no one's hearing it. Maybe they're not following through. Uh, maybe there's uh, some other sort of miscommunication going on. A little bit uh, rockier on on that positioning as a, as a full unit. But I like the hero comp. I like the picks uh, on the defense that we saw out of Arbordon. Absolutely. I just uh, I think the first map we looked a lot cleaner. But that's all right. You know, it seems like yeah. we've got some momentum behind us. So even if we're... Uh, looking a little rocky, we, we definitely held a really solid defense. We had some really nice holds 
in 4v6s or 4v5s um, on the point after we lost a few people due to some of those little hiccups here. I remember in comms they were saying, hey, we're just going to walk forward here. We're not going to use any cooldowns until we get to choke unless something changes on the way. So they're just really trying to just get up there and have everything to fire. And to Here's they see someone champion. in the room here. What is this person doing over here? It looks like they're being what dead. A met yeah, looks like they're I they're remember the call this was push W, use skills, move forward. Picks after picks after picks. Barberton rolling in and just rolling over on top of Champion High School here. Looks like they're trying to get this Lucio down. A little bit of discrepancies in the calls here, but now they're picking left, right, left, right. And with this D.Va going down, I think Barman's going to get a quick cap here as long as they can eliminate this baby. No problem. Is there anyone coming back from Champion here? No, I don't think so. So I think it's time for Barman to move on to map three. Map three time. Yeah, uh, not much to say there. <laughs> Let's just uh, end this one and go on to map three. One. And see if Barman can get the sweep or not. Barberton fans, let's take a look at Rialto here, a map that we don't usually see. Champions pick for round three here. Is it going to be the last round, or is Champion going to come back? And we're going to be hearing some okay. Queen music at the end of this set. We'll have to find out. Absolutely. Let's go. As we begin, we have a couple swaps here. Preston back in. In this case, we've got a uh, taste of rice. Brian Stamage is out for this round. And then it looks like we also have... Uh, is that the only substitute we have here, I believe? Yes. So, Brendan... Uh, is not in on this one either. That's all right. Nothing wrong with that. We've always got to make some substitutes here and there for the right heroes, for the right calls, for the right moments. Preston going to be making main calls on this moment, I believe, here. It looks like Barbin's looking to try to decide where they want to set up with the Arisa and the Sigma here. It looks like they're going to be just kind of right in front of uh, point here. It looks like a little bit on high ground, a little bit on low ground. Trying to make sure the Ana can see them over here from their kind of far back defensive position. Also allows them to have good eyes on the flank, I suppose. Ooh, Bastion oh, on the enemy man, team. Man. Oh, pirate ship. And he, nope, he's oh, dead. That, so, that ship has sunk, so they're going to have to try yep. that rod yeah. again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my camera's going a little crazy here. Uh, What is wrong with their Sigma? Or Orisa, sorry. Sorry, Orisa. She just kind of stood still for a second there and just took a bunch of damage. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it looked a little strange. My, my camera was having a bit of uh, seizure at the moment, so it, it fixed itself since then, but... Yeah, a lot of a lot of moves here. What a risky res. How greedy. There's no way they could have been protected. And maybe if they got the Sigma shield down, but they were not communicating that to their team on Champion High School. And Barman is just taking space. I mean, Yi moving up to a much more offensive position here to help support his team because, honestly, they can afford to take these more aggressive positions. I'd be scared of getting pulled off the map by this Orisa, but I, I, just, I think they just don't. Yeah. There, there's no respect for this enemy Orisa here because they haven't put any pressure on Barberton. Um, Barbara and taking these kind of, I, I don't want to say totally bad positions, but more aggressive positions because they can. It's high, oh, the, the right at noon. The yeah, right that's at noon. right out from the, the corner. Right at noon. On my angle, all we saw was was everyone on Champions team outside of the last <laughs> little little uh, Sigma there fall to the alt out of uh, Ryan McInerney from the care. left side. I no one looks to the left side. I mean, I don't think that that's the play I was looking forward to seeing, but I'm going to have to roll back and watch that again from a different angle. But I don't think that um, that would probably work against a stronger team. They probably would have been able to call out that, that missing Kree. But uh, against this team, well, it's a feel-good ult, that's for sure. Definitely something for the highlight reel. <laughs> what is that res? That res is bad is what it is. That was a bad yeah. res. I'm sorry, Mercy. Bad that was a bad res, and you should feel bad. They needed. They need to communicate with their team. They've got tanks up. They can ask for somebody to res, but you're also right for a spawn. Why even bother for the res right there? Unless yeah, your team's no ready reason. to push out. Farah from uh, from Bastion now. Farah up and in she, the air, but already gone. Nope. Yeah, up in the air and back on the ground. Reaper in the okay. back line. Uh, Hunter Dare going for the finish over here. He should be able to take that duel. Yes, he does. Big wow. Just no contest for Barbaran. Yeah, Barbaran needs to just start using some ults periodically. Okay, they're deciding to use all of them, which wow, they're all, I guess, uh, two of them. That's good. Okay, they didn't use them all. All right. Two, three, three of them they used in that fight. They didn't really need to. I think they just knew that we're going to build ult, ult charge again. Let's go ahead and, and get it out here. Yeah, them all. Never feels good I to just be trapped and spawn here. 
Uh, this is yeah. kind of reminiscent of Barberton's game against Worcester High School. Uh, the difference being here that uh, Worcester, I think, was a bit of a weaker team, but Barberton was less coordinated. Uh, I'd say Champion is not as as lower uh, skill level as Worcester was, but I will say that Champion is facing a much more honed Barberton since the beginning of the season as they get stronger and stronger as the season goes down. You know, a rolling stone uh, down the hill, as it were, a snowball down the hill. And because of that, no Barberton is... is making this match look much, much more one-sided uh, than, than uh, the match against Worcester, despite this team being a, a bit of a... It's high noon once again. I think they're just going for any picks here. I think that's what we'd say. Yeah. Just get any picks you can, because there's only 15 seconds left, and we don't always need to go for the flashy ult. Even just picking one or two heroes can swing a fight in your Absolutely. direction. Oh. That Bastion is oh, down again. There he goes. Yep. Pile scrap. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Yep. More like. I can't think of a pun for that one, but you know what? Never mind. This has looked really, really good from Barbara on this map. I don't know if Barbara died once on this defense. If they did, it was so such a minor moment that I, I can't even recall. This round does look a lot more like the game against Worcester. I think that. Yeah. Uh, I think that. You know, Champion is probably a little demoralized. They're probably panicked. They're maybe a little tilted. Yeah. I mean, the same thing has happened to us on our team for, for less. And, you know, they're getting camped in the spawn here. And the spawn here, essentially. So, uh, you know, I, I my heart goes out to him on this map. But, you know, Sorry. perhaps they can put up I a solid defense. Good. I don't know. We'll see here in a moment as Barberton mounts their own offense. What heroes are they going to go here? I think they're probably just going to go on their comfort heroes. Uh, maybe some heroes they important. want to work on some strats with just because, uh, once again, I, I just don't think yeah. Champion can put up the defense that's really going to stand up to Barberton's offense here. A few years ago, this was Barberton. Uh, like, on Rialto, like, it was Barberton get, getting trapped in spawn, have, ha having a Genji on the sidelines, farming all your heroes, pen pentakill noons from, from a Kree, all that. that. That used to be Barberton. So Barberton definitely knows how it feels here. Yeah, and I mean... I don't want to say it feels good to be on the other side necessarily because, you know, like we said, we don't we don't want to just yeah. totally demolish every opponent we face. We'd much rather have a, an even match that still gets us a Barberton victory. But, um, Absolutely. And, and not to mention, uh, we know NC Hoover did beat Barberton this season, and uh, we want to train to become better. And to do that, we must face stronger and stronger opponents. So unless Barberton, I mean, clearly they've had a much more cohesive They're going to become on, but the very best like no one ever was. They're, they... Uh, like to, to to fight good opponents is like their real test, you yes, know. Yes, absolutely. And the train is is their course. Of course, obviously. All right, quick pick coming out: sniper versus yep. sniper. It's Barberton on top there. Pineapple King actually on the sniper this round. Trying something a little different because, uh, like I said, we can't. Uh, are... Alec Wietrich takes a drink out of the water. Uh, two two people uh, getting big sips from from the water. Yeah. <laughs> Get the sippy oh, cup for this man. He's had. He's drinking a little too much. Yeah. All right. Uh, Alex, Alex back trick. out after that embarrassing dive yeah. into the water. Uh, it's okay. It's he okay because uh, Barberton only had to move the cart about 18 meters. So uh, that's a quick, quick Barberton win there. I'm gonna roll it back to a little bit earlier. I wanted to look at another shot of that pentakill um, coming out from uh, Ryan McInerney. I believe that was on. Uh, I'm looking at the timestamp here. Yeah, I think this is it right here. He's going to come around from the side, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and unpause it and kind of see. I think it was right around two minutes. And oh, I might have I might have just missed it. It's right around two minutes or so. Rolling it back. Yeah, this might be it here. Okay, so on the timestamp, if you want to take a look at it, uh, it looks like it's about 148 on the bar at the bottom. Coach Ethan, 257 up top. It was actually closer to three minutes than what I thought. So let's take a look here. Kennedy sneaking around the back. Enemy team really should have spotted this out here. Lots of chances Absolutely. to see it. Uh, but you're definitely going to see it on the kill feed. Only the Sigma surviving. Wow. That was, you know, that reminds me of uh, Hunter Adair's huge noon that they had on uh, back when we used to play some of our clips on the morning announcements. We had those daily with the videos. Maybe we should get some, uh, some of those back now that the morning announcements are televised live again uh, at Barberton High School. So we might have to make a play like that. Anyway. Let me go ahead and just scroll to the end here as, as we wrap up. Um, 
Barbarin looking really, really strong. I think their best map was the first one. We saw some really, really good pressure and use of space. The other maps, not bad ones by any means, but I think we saw the most focused and honed Barberton at that very beginning when they weren't sure what the future would hold for them against Champion High School, not knowing uh, the level of skill they would face. But as they felt more and more comfortable, we did see a uh, little bit of more meme relaxed strats out of Barberton okay. a little bit. Uh, but remember, big games are still on the horizon. Barberton has uh, one last match, I believe, for the varsity season, and then they'll see if they can make it to the playoffs, where they will face off most likely against Shaker Heights or Akron Stem in the playoffs. So it's a very, very important that you know they, they enjoy these small wins where they can get them here, but they Absolutely. really need to start scrimming and preparing against the big teams. It's very, very important if they want to make it through that postseason and stand among the champions. Absolutely. With that, I've been uh, Coach Kane and Coach Ethan's here with me as well. Uh, thank Thanks. you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.